very excited about the size of this week's box and that is because we have a Chilean peony um, which was, I mean, there's actually a very limited window when we can use them. They're coral charm peonies, but they have huge heads. And we source them from a, a grower here who buys them from a farmer in Chile too. So they are completely out of season in the Bay Area, but very much blooming in Chile. So that's exciting. Then we have some local Alstroemeria, some uh, quicksand roses. Uh, this is actually Grevelia robusta and it's grown um, in San Diego. Um, it's it's very interesting. I've actually only ever seen it once before, uh, but it has this really full fern-like shape, which I love. And then we have some olive branches and some uh, protea, which are from San Diego too, from Milano Farm. This is a really full box, um, but I want to do this arrangement video really quickly because I feel like efficiency with this process and kind of making it work in a fast way because we all have such busy lives is important. So let's get straight to it. Um, let's start with the olive first. So you're going to have some tangly, like branchy, strange pieces of olive that, you know, you, you don't have pieces that grow perfectly straight and that's normal. You're going to have weedy pieces, curvy pieces, like my advice on, to, on this would be like to embrace uh, the shape of what you have. The kind of key thing is making sure you strip um, the leaves below the waterline. And then I would suggest putting them at the wide right and the left sides to enable you to kind of cover the width um, of the arrangement. So, and then what we're going to do is we'll use the Grevelia Robusta to kind of fill out in between and you'll see that it makes it really robust. Um, very full shape, which is really pretty. So, just gonna keep any piece is a good piece, like even this piece is a nice piece. So, I'm just gonna keep on building. We want to try and make sure that the shape on either side is pretty balanced. So, just gonna keep on. So the Gravelli Robusta really long pieces and what you can do depending on the height of your vase is you can cut them into multiple um, pieces. So just literally cut it in half or cut it into thirds if you're using a shorter vase. And then we're going to add it in between the olive branch all the way around. And even if you have small pieces like these ones, put them to one side because we can use them at the end to fill in like the front corners. Um, so keep on adding it around. You can see it immediately like completely changes the shape and makes this like really full fern looking creation. Look, it's great. I love it. I can't believe, I've never used it before actually and I've only come across, across it once before. I never knew it grew with such huge leaves on it, but it only had, it only does so in full. Um, and it actually is a much softer texture to the Grevelia that we would use normally. So I like that because it's not as stiff. So I'm just collecting my pieces. I have a piece here. So no piece is a bad piece. So you can see I've got kind of a few of these leaves um, that are shorter. What I'm going to do is just add them to the front corners and you can just dot them in that way like that Chilean peony wow so this is our focal flower we want to strip the leaves of the stem cut it down and then really what you want to do with this is nest it right in the middle front and center in between the grevelia and the olive Pieces of protea, so cut these down, they're quite leafy. I would suggest stripping the leaves that fall below the waterline on these, um, just to make sure they don't shed. And then, you know, we're using the protea to break up the greenery in the back. So they can sit wherever you want, honestly. Um, they're pretty small, these ones, they've got relatively small heads. 
they're quite young. Uh, but they have a lot of greenery on them and they have a nice shape, so I really like that a lot. Next hand roses, so these have opened up a lot. These are about four days old. Yours will not look like this when you first get them. They're gonna open up after a couple of days. And we do that deliberately because we want you to have like the freshest flowers that are gonna last as long as possible. Make sure you remove any outer petals from these that might be curling or browning. And then that's perfectly normal. They're the protective petals on roses that protect them from infection. And then you just want to use them to fill in any space. Finally, Alstroemeria. Now, a couple of things about this. This is the most resilient flower you'll ever know. So if they arrive closed like this and you're like, they don't look anything like the photograph, bear with them. They'll open up and they'll last for like two or three weeks. And they're really resilient, but they take a bit of time to open. So what you want to do with them, they're filler flowers. You just want to cut them down, strip any of the floppy leaves off the side of them to clean them up a little bit. They've got super long stems, so you do want to cut them down quite a fair bit. And then you just want to add them in anywhere you see a space for them just to fill them out. And you'll see them open up. Trust me with these. Um, we've had situations in the past where people have been disappointed with them, but I've always said, just bear with them. They'll open, they'll come super tight. They don't look anything like the picture, but then they open up after a few days and they last for like a really, really good amount of time. So. There we have it, our Chilean peony and protea week with an abundance of greens. I hope you love the color and the shape of this one and um, here's to a great November.